Hi, this is Jamie Stegmaier from Stonemeyer Games, and today I am here to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Sheriff of Nottingham, a game that I've been playing a lot lately since I got it about two weeks ago. In Sheriff of Nottingham, players are peddlers trying to get goods into Nottingham, and to do so they have to go through the Sheriff. The Sheriff is a, a rotating um, position that all the players will take two times in the game, and all the peddlers will put goods cards in this little bag, give it to the sheriff, and then have a negotiation with the sheriff. The sheriff either decides to investigate the, get, investigate the bag and open it up, or give it back unopened. Um, and there's a penalty, like if the sheriff opens the bag and the player wasn't lying, the sheriff pays a penalty. If a player was lying and the sheriff opens the bag, then uh, the player pays the penalty to the sheriff. That's the core idea behind the game. And so at its heart, Sheriff of Nottingham, Nottingham is a bluffing game. Um, at least it's kind of advertised as a bluffing game. And it can be a bluffing game if you want it to be. It can be all about lying and deception. But what I've discovered, and this is my, my favorite thing about Sheriff of Nottingham, is that it's a bluffing game where you don't have to bluff if you don't want to, which is really nice. As much as I enjoy the, the deception that can occur in some games, like uh, I've talked about the Resistance Avalon before, um, Sometimes I'm just I'm in the mood to negotiate, but I'm not in the mood to bluff. Sometimes you know it just doesn't feel good to lie to people. Um, I played this last night and I I had a great time except for the one time that I actually lied to somebody and I felt bad about it afterward. I still feel I'm still thinking about it. I feel bad that I lied to this person. Um, and so the great thing about Sheriff Nottingham is that instead of bluffing, you can just negotiate with the sheriff. You can work out a deal with the sheriff. Um, and so I've played the game a few times where I really have not bluffed at all. I've, I've put a lot of cards in the bag. Sometimes I look at the cards. Sometimes I don't even look at the cards that I put in the bag. And I just negotiate with the sheriff. I offer them goods that are in the bag. I offer them like all the, I offer them all the contraband that's in the bag. Maybe I'll put five cards in here. I won't even look. And I'll say, I'll, I'll tell you what, you take all the contraband that's in the bag. And sometimes they get, sometimes the sheriff gets lucky and they get a lot of contraband out of it. Sometimes they get unlucky because there are more legal goods in the game than contraband, and I'll, uh, I'll get all those legal goods through, even though they weren't like the same. So the basic idea is that you're, putting, you're telling the sheriff that you're putting one good type in the bag, and you name a number. So I might say I have four cheese in this bag, but whatever is actually in the bag, it can be anything I want. But any cards that I'm lying about, so if there are two cheese, one bread, and one contraband, and the sheriff inspects the bag, then I only get the cheese back, the, the goods that I told the truth about, and the other cards get discarded and I pay a penalty. Um, so I love that negotiation aspect, both from the peddler side and when I'm the sheriff. I love to negotiate heavily with everybody uh, because I, I, want, I, I want to make some money off, off, uh, off the bags when I'm the sheriff. And so I really don't want everyone giving me uh, two, three cards that are correct that are legal goods. I want them trying to get some contraband by me and then I want to get some of that contraband or I want to get a heavy payment. So often I'll do things like I'll say if you um, I'll let your bag through this round. I'll, I'll tell all the players I'm going to let all the bags through this round if you let my bag through the next round. I'll try that. Some players will take me up on it, some, some won't. I've tried a prisoner's dilemma approach where I'll say um, so I, I've done this two ways. I'll say, okay, whoever puts the least number of goods in their bag, I'll give it back unopened. If there's if there's a clear, if there's only one player who puts the least number of bag, uh, goods in the bag, I'll give it back. And that way I kind of, uh, I try to get players to put fewer goods in the bag so they're getting through less, but someone's getting a nice bonus. But they, the other players don't know who's going to do that, who's going to have the lowest number. I've done that with the highest number, too. I've said, okay, whoever puts the most goods in the bag, um, you will, what did I say, you'll get, the, uh, you'll get it back. You, I'll open the bag. Whoever puts the most goods in the bag, I'm definitely going to open the bag. So, again, I'm kind of pushing them to put fewer goods in the bag um, so that they gain less from the round when I'm the sheriff. The last little thing, this is kind of tied to, to negotiation that I like about this game, is that I found that it's a game that you can really easily play with partners, which is great because this is, at its essence, a large group game, but it only plays three to five players. But, like last night, I taught this game to 
uh, eight other people, and we had uh, three teams of two, and then so I guess it was seven other people. So we had three teams of two, and then two single players. I was single, and someone else was single, and it worked out great because. Not only are you then negotiating with the sheriff and having that interaction, but you're also having this interaction with another player, trying to like devise the perfect plan to get a good by the sheriff. It doesn't add, it, I guess it adds a little bit of extra playing time to play in partners, but everyone's engaged because you're engaged with your partner just as you're engaged with the other players and the sheriff. And I really like that. There are very few games that really that you can slip in a partner and have just as much fun as when you don't. I don't even think it's in the rules, but I, I kind of discovered that as I played it and tried to teach it to larger groups. So that mechanism is very interesting to me. So in the comments, I'm interested in two things. I'm interested in other bluffing games where you don't have to bluff. You can just negotiate. You don't have to lie at all. And I'm interested in games where you can easily play in partners, even though the game is built just for players to play alone. That mechanism in particular is really interesting to me. I'm announcing a game tomorrow that we're going to publish. Um, you can see it on, on BGG now. It's already there. It's called Scythe, uh, spelled S-C-Y-T-H-E. And in Scythe, I hope I pronounced it correctly. I, I, I think it's Scythe. Um, you, there's a, a mechanism that allows players to partner up uh, before the game. So the whole game, you'll play in partners. And there's a mechanism, like it's not just something you can do in the game. There's a specific communication mechanism that changes the game and makes it still interesting and dynamic when you're playing with a partner. So it's a two to five player game, kind of like Sheriff of Nottingham, although the, the game itself is nothing like Sheriff of Nottingham. But it can play up to ten players. I doubt anyone will ever play this game with a full array of ten players. But it's kind of nice to me that it's a game that... Uh, that you're not limited to five players. If you sit down a game night and you really want to play it, but there's seven people there and you have to split up or whatever. Not with this game. It's built around the idea that you can expand it up to ten players when you sit down to play. So that's a, I'm, I'm curious about games that, that either do that naturally well or that maybe are built with a partnership mechanism so you can add in extra players beyond the number that's on the box. That's it for me today. That's my favorite game, or I guess my two favorite game mechanisms of Sheriff of Nottingham.